everyone. Thanks for stopping in to see what we're up to today. I created this dish. I call it my chicken cacciatore. It's a pretty healthy version. We started off with diced onions in the bottom with olive oil and then I sliced up some chicken breasts and I topped everything with bell peppers and tomatoes and there I got a little side dish of mushrooms and bell peppers. Anyhow, this was uh, enough meat and vegetables for us to eat four dishes out of it, four times, and very economical to do. Find the things that you like, put them together, and then um, you can create all kinds of stuff all through the week. Enjoy the video. Nah. I have leftovers. Chicken. It has peppers and onions and tomato in it. And then I have some potatoes. Oh, just look at that pan. That's so cool. Look at that. Oh, I gotta get a knife. Get a little cutting board. That is so awesome. Mm. I'd like to put some onions in there. Let's crank that down. I don't know I have an onion in my meal. It's amazing when you have a an amount of onions in your kitchen, how you'll use them more. And I got a new skillet. I might as well use it to see how it's going to work. ceramic so the anodize I think is on the outside and ceramic is on the inside and it's traumatino look at that Woo. calm down the one I got rid of the one that I should have probably had oh well What are you going to do? You know? You don't know you're going to get these pans. Before you get rid of your big splatter guard. Wow. And as you can see, my stove is not level. Wow. I can actually turn that down. Olive oil, onion. I started using the onions, I have to say, they are so delicious. And it's amazing, you know, like sometimes people have to have no salt in their diet, 
Well, you know, if you have an onion and you caramelize it like what I'm doing in my big skillet, you don't need any salt. Hmm. I think I'm going to make way too much food for this lunch. And I'm not going to use all my chicken. These are my potatoes. But I'll actually be able to... We'll be able to see. Eat this today, which is a Tuesday. Have a salad tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Have this as leftovers on Thursday. Wow. So I won't have to really do too much of anything. Oh, I love having this big skillet. Fry pan. This is just lovely. Now I'm going to take a couple pieces of my chicken. Because this weekend we wanted to go up to, this past weekend, we wanted to go up to um, our apple farmer. And we just didn't make it. Do it this week. Okay. And I'm close to the clear water meat. So I'll make a jaunt into there and get some more chicken. I cooked the, this chicken the other day. I think it was yesterday. So good. I'll have something out on the YouTube about it. There we go. almost like a my version of chicken cacciatore. <sighs> That's nice. Look at that. And I don't have any lid that will fit this. So slick, I'll have to use two spoons. So I have even more chicken left. This is going to be for a salad. Here's something interesting. This other pan bowl here that I got my potatoes out of, I'm not going to put it in the area to get washed because I know I'm going to have extras here. So I'll be able to just put this in there when we don't need it all. I had heavy whipping cream. I didn't buy any the last time. I could have made a terrific sauce with the heavy whipping cream. I 
I do have whole milk. So we'll see what happens here. Put my little chicken bouillon in there with my milk. Leftovers, delicious. There we go. That's perfect. So what the milk did is it created moisture because the chicken bouillon needed some moisture. But I also had added some of those tomatoes and peppers I had cooked up the day before. So now I kind of have my sauce that I was looking for. Take a little bite. really good. Look at that. So this is the last of my, what I've been calling my chicken cacciatore. I had a little bit left. I chopped it up with the sauce, which made perfect for a salad. So we have some lettuce down in here and some cucumbers. And then we did a grilled cheese sandwich in my new big, huge skillet I got. That was just wonderful. And this is some bread that I got at um, local bread. Um, bit of Swiss. This is the bit of Swiss bread. Pisano. So that's what we're having. And then we're going to have some local apple cider from Hildebrand Farms. So we got this yesterday on our trip. And then we've got our, just put it right there. There we go. Look at that lovely apple cider. So anyways, <clears throat> cook once and you'll eat a bunch of different times. It's food that you love. It's individually you love the food. You put it together, you love the food. And you create new food. I don't even have to have any dressing on my salad because of the sauce. It's a perfect day.